What's up guys, Next Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you a tweak on how to get rid of your software on-screen navigation buttons, but keep your status bar for your notifications and stuff like that. This will pretty much work for any device that has the on-screen buttons, mostly Nexus devices, but yeah. Recently I showed you GMD gesture controls, which if I show you here, allows you to have full screen mode, which is brilliant, you get a lot more screen real estate. The problem is you don't get your notifications, you can't see them when they come through, and you can't get to your quick toggles or you can't get to your recent menu key, which is really annoying because, you know, it's long to get to uh, each app by going out and clicking into it using gestures. So I use Pi like this. You can see this nice little Pi feature and you can see my notifications up here, but they scroll through a little bit too slowly for my liking. and It takes too long to get to them. I much prefer the uh, drop down menu. Also, I can't get to my Recents key using my uh, Recents key on the Pi. You can see it just doesn't work. It doesn't function because it's not there because I turned it off in GMD Gesture Controls. So what I really want is to turn off the navigation buttons and to keep the status bar. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, you do need Root to do this because you are going to be editing a file. So if I go into ES File Explorer, um, make sure that you have Root and make sure that you have it as writable, you will need it as writable. And you wanna go into the root directory, so you can see the slash here. You'll then wanna go into system, and you'll wanna change build prop. So open up your build prop, and you'll see loads of stuff that basically tells everything what your device is. And at the bottom of it, just anywhere at the bottom, next line, you want to add this line that I'll write in the description. It's Q, make sure you don't have any capitals because I don't think it'll work. Q E M U dot H W. Make sure it doesn't change anything. It's got to be right. Dot main keys. Keys. You can see it's left a gap there, so I'm going to go and change that in a minute. Equals one. So I will write that in the description so you can uh, just copy and paste it. Whoops, I don't want to change any of that make sure there is no gaps that it'll put in for you and that's it now you just want to hit the menu button and save you see it should save successfully and you'll now need to reboot your device if i just do that here if we get some focus power off shut down and when it comes back on hopefully we'll have no navigation controls and we'll have the status bar so let's check it out There are obviously other ways you can do this. Um, obviously, if you have a custom ROM, it's easier to do. You can probably just turn them off. Um, but this is for stock ROM and stuff like that. So, yeah. Here we go. Booting up. Okay, and there we go, we booted up. Let's unlock and see if it's worked. And there you go, you can see my navigation buttons are gone. My status bar is still here. You can see that I can now use my Pi really nicely. You can see it's here. Fantastic, so now I can uh, navigate around using it. I can also use the recent apps key that I couldn't use before. And I've got my notifications with quick down toggles up there as well. So this is the best of both worlds here, guys, you can see the uh, Pi navigation controls are working perfectly, as well as my notifications coming through like that. So this is now my favorite setup. That's as easy as it is. If you do want to go back to completely stock, you will have to take out that line if you want to do a Google update, because I think it won't um, allow you to do it because there's a change in the build prop. So make sure you take it out if you want to do an update. So yeah, guys, that's a tweak. It's as easy as that. See you guys later.